Hi there. Today we're going to take a look at how to work with CSV files and how to save our results from our Python program from a list into a CSV file. And that way we can continuously add to that file, record our data, and be able to uh, read and display the data that others who have run the program have created as well. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to start with our sample program, and we're working with the miles per gallon program again. Uh, it's about 40 lines long, and it looks something like this. We have a few functions. The first function that appears is get miles driven, and this is basically just asking for an input for how many miles were driven with a little bit of validation. Um, entry must be greater than zero please try again so it'll keep going through that loop until we get some valid um, float input that is over zero once that happens it'll return to the part of the program that called that function the next one is very similar this is a function called get gallons used same exact thing we're inputting for a float we're checking to see if that input is greater than zero if it isn't, we're going to print a warning error and have the user input again. And then we have our main function where we are displaying a welcome message and we are um, going to check to see if the user would like to input more entries. So this will allow us to run the program multiple times depending on what they input for uh, yes or no to continue the program or not. So after we get our miles driven and our gallons used, within the main function, we're going to calculate the miles per gallon, which is miles driven divided by ma ma gallons used, and we're going to round it to two, two places. Then we're going to print out the calculation and that's pretty much what's happened in the basic starting program. So let's go ahead and run this. Um, enter miles driven. This is going to go with 250, 10 gallons of gas. That will give us 25 miles per gallon. I'll go ahead and do it again. 500, 20, same thing. And click no. And we exit the program. Okay, so that's what's happening here in the program. And these are the instructions for this particular practice activity. So we're going to modify this program so that instead of storing the data, um, and basically we're not really even storing it, we're just, we're just getting it and creating a uh, calculation, displaying it, and then we're starting all over again. So what we want to do is we want to save that input data and the corresponding miles per gallon in a CSV file. A CSV file is a comma delimited list. And what we would then look for in this is we're going to store the original um, miles driven, the original gallons of gas input, and then the calculations for miles per gallon. So it might look something like this. Just have three numbers. Again, those first two numbers can be floats. The last number can also be a float, the decimal value, um, but for simplicity's purposes, I'm just using that as an example. Okay, so we're going to save that to a CSV file. We're not going to make any changes to the actual calculation or the inputs. Everything that we're going to be making as a modification for this part of the activity will just be behind the scenes. Um, after we're done, we're going to review the code, run the program, uh, make sure everything works right. So, um, so yeah, here we go. So let's first take a look. We know we're going to use the CSV module. So that's going to be the very first thing that I'm going to input. I'm going to put that at the top. I've got my comments up here. So I'm going to start this down here. So import CSV. Of course, it's going to give me a little message that, hey, we're not using it yet. And then the next thing I need to do is um, create a file, oops, a file name 
for our CSV file and having some typing issues today. Okay, so my file name is going to be trips.csv. Okay, so that is my file name. And what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna want to make a list down here in my main section. Okay, so I've got my miles per gallon. I want to create a list called trips. I'm just gonna start that off as an empty placeholder. So create a placeholder list. And then I'm going to want to store the inputs and the miles per gallon down here after everything has been calculated. So I think what I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna to wanna to put this in after the output, but before the more entries. So I come down and I am going to create oops, another list called trip and that's going to be for each record of my of that I want to record and I'm going to append to the trip list miles driven so that's going to be my first one I'm going to append again uh, gallons used oops, and then I'm going to append the calculated miles per gallon and then once I have that if I was to run the program right now and output let's go ahead and do that print trip let's see what this looks like so again this is a, an example of I like to do a little bit of work on my program and test it out make sure it works so again I'm just going to stick with that 250 10 gallons of gas I get 25 so this is just an output of the list that I have created here the, the trip list Right, so there's the 250, 10, 25, and because these are being input as floats, um, you're going to see them output as floats in my list. So I'm going to go ahead and comment this. Create a list for the three values of this calculation. All right, so I know that list is working. Once I know that's working, I'm going to get rid of the print out on that. So after I have everything working, then I'm gonna to wanna to append the entire list to my trips list that I created at, at the beginning. So now append this entire row to my trips list. Okay, so now if I was to output this, Let's go ahead and just check it out for debugging purposes. I'm gonna go ahead and print trips so you can see how this works. And let's do this with multiple um, multiple programs. All right, so we'll do my 250, 10, there we go. So my current trips, you see here, I've got one row, one list inside of it. I'm gonna click yes for more entries. I'll do my 500 and this, there we go. So now I've got the 250. That was the first round of inputs. The 500 is the second round. I'm gonna hit no, um, but basically once I get to this point, after we are done collecting all of this data and storing it in our trips list, I want to go ahead and actually save all of this data to my CSV. So I'm going to create a new function that will save everything. And I want that function to be called um, write trips. So I'm going to put this up here at the top. Create my function write trips. Um, I'm going to pass it the trips list that we've been working on creating. And I'm going to use that with open my file name is going to be my first argument. 
and I'm going to put the mode, which is right, and sorry. And then I'm going to put my new line equals nothing as file. Okay, so this this line of code is going to be a little tricky because we haven't used it yet. But all that's happening here is we're going to open this file name, which I've already saved, trips.csv, in write. And a new line is just going to be an empty character as file. So file now is going to be the, the variable name for what this file is going to be. I'm going to use that writer equals csv.writer and pass it the file. And I'm going to do writer.write rows and pass it my trips. All right, so let's take a look now. I've got the function and I need to call that function. And what I think I want to do is I want to call it before I say goodbye. Okay, so basically once I say no, then we'll go ahead and call, open up that file and save this data. So I'm gonna call the function, write trips, pass it my trips. And I think that's all we have. So let's take a look and see if this works. Fingers crossed that everything looks good. I'm gonna click run, move this over here. Now keep in mind, as of right now, when, when that file gets created, we should see it show up in our files uh, structure here. So let's check that out. Hold on, I don't think I put that in there yet. Let me just make sure I started clean. All right, so 250, 10, more entries, yes, 500, 15, there we go. Do one more row. Um, let's see, I got my hybrid vehicle and I've got 25, 40 miles per gallon. I'm gonna click no. So as soon as I click no, it's going to run that process of write trips. And you see now I have a file called trips.csv. We can click on it. And here is all of my data. And does my data look like what I've put in? 250 and 10, calculated at 25, 515, 33.33, 33, 1,000, and 40. That looks really good. And you can see that the cursor is on the next line and that will be where uh, things will be input next. Okay, so let's, let's run this one more time because I want to see what happens when I start a new file again, a new program. So 155, and we'll do one more, 250, 10, okay, and then I'm going to say no. All right, so let's take a look at what is in our trips because we did three inputs on the previous program and two here. So what do you think is going to happen? Remember, we've talked about how we have different ways that we can open our files. And right here, we're opening it in W or write mode. So what do you think is going to happen every time we run this program? Let's take a look at the trips.csv. All right, so if you're looking at this trips.csv, you will see that this is only recording the data that we just put in. And the reason for that is because we have this open in W mode. So if we want to make this so that we can append to the file, we need to change this mode from W to an A. And that A will allow us to append to the existing file. So what I'm going to do first here is I'm going to change it to A. I'm going to take this existing file and delete it because I want to start with a fresh file. So there's nothing in here. I'm going to run this and start my program again. I will do one more. And we'll exit out. And sure enough, I've got my trips.csv. There are the two rows of data. Now I want to run this again. So let's run this again one more time. And make sure 
that I'll do something like 450 and 15 there we go I'm gonna say no and let's take a look at trips.csv so here we go this is working a lot better because it doesn't make any sense for us to to wipe that file every single time we want to run this program um, again that depends on the needs of the program if but we're going to continue working on this in the next video and do some more with it and actually output um, the results of the trips.csv to the page too. So for now we've got this working well and everything is up to par based on the code changes that we wanted to do. So the only changes we're making is creating a function that's going to write the, the data, distance, gallons, and calculated miles per gallon list to our CSV. All right, thanks.